Hey guys, Caleb's Cards here. I'm at you with a TTM uh, about two month recap. Um, it's been a long awaited episode. Uh, it's pretty much going to be more like a TTM movie. <laughs> um, I got quite a few here. Um, so, yeah. <laughs> so, I would definitely, if you don't have time, definitely put this in your watch later. Um, grab a snack or a drink or something. Uh, some breakfast and just sit back and you listen or watch and uh, we're gonna go through these from the point where I left off um, I stopped showing you stuff I got back on November 10th and uh, I did open the first the, the ones on November 10th I don't know why I didn't show them but I did open them um, so we'll start with those first um, Obviously from Albu Albuquerque, New Mexico. I sent it out in 10:20. And it's Saturday, so we'll just open them all up. This is going to be astronaut Cindy M. Gutierrez. I forgot to move this light. Not working. a little better. I did, my sister did get me a ring light for Christmas, so um, at the moment, I don't have the best setup for that, but we will um, give it a shot. We'll do some tests, so um, in the future you might see a ring light going. So. Next up we got Oakland, California. This is for Team 50s and 60s. This is going to be Mr. Tim Colon. Who assigned a photo of the 1969 Tops card. So that's one point. Put it a little high. One point for my team. Actually, gotta find somewhere for this. There's so much stuff in here to move things around. Um, this one's coming from Oklahoma City. It was at 1020, and as you can see, it is a 1050s, 60s return. This is Mr. John Gilner. Uh, signed the 65, or picture of 65 Tops Rookie Stars with Jerry May. So, two points for my team. Then this one was actually a purchase. Um, I shared an article on my actual page, on my personal page on Facebook, and uh, I just came across it and I thought I'd look up and see if he had any autographs, and he did. Uh, this is Mr. Bill Anderson, and he was a World War II pilot. Um, he is known for chasing a Nazi fighter pilot uh, in Paris through the Eiffel Tower and shooting him down. <laughs> and uh, he was he received the uh, Legion Day Honor, which is the highest honor in France. And uh, I think some distinguished service medals in the U.S. So, pretty pretty cool uh, pickup there. Fortunately, th there were better like photos that you can get of him, but they were way more expensive. Um, I thought this would be just fine. So, Bill Anderson. So, uh, or over Overton? I think it's Bill Overton, my bad. Yeah, not Anderson. <laughs> Bill Overton. But anyways, his, uh, there's an article. Um, if you scroll all the way down to about uh, November, the beginning of November, you can find an article about that. So, pretty cool. Then we got 11-12. Come back from Nashville, Tennessee. Sent this out in October. And this one hasn't been opened yet. Very nice. This is an up and coming female racer. Um, this is going to be Brittany Zamora. And I, whoops, and I believe uh, one of these is going to be going to Bruce. But she's driving the Superwoman car there. So, very cool. Brittany Zamora. She 
has been very nice of her to sign her fan mail. Uh, South Suburban, Illinois. Got this back in 11-12. Sent out 10-20. will be a lot of 10-20s. That's pretty much what I not want to stop sending most of the requests. Uh, this is, should be for yep, Team 5060's is Mr. Greg Washburn. He was on the 1969 California Angels. And he signed just a, a different kind of custom that I did. So, very cool. That's three points. We got Charlotte, North Carolina, also received on 11-12, sent out on 10-20, we're in October. Looks like we got a track. It is Mr. Bobby Jones, I guess he must only sign one, that's fine. A pretty good basketball player for the Philadelphia 76ers. And then he also just included a track, uh, Have You Been to Calvary? Which, yes, I have. So, very cool. Um, still can keep those and give those to other people. Very neat. And we got Buffalo, New York, sent out 1112, or received 1112, sent out in August this year. So it's still kind of thick. I don't know if they returned my letter or included some extra stuff. Looks like they wrote some things. Just make sure they do want me to show it. Oh, nice. Says Caleb, always remember it's not how you start, but how you finish. Be not afraid, um, Pope, Pope John Paul II, Ed Rakowski, and he's a former Buffalo Bill in the mid-60s, about 1964, signed a couple photos there, and actually that one's supposed to be for my boss, I totally forgot give that to him for Christmas, because I opened a few of them up um, if I knew that they were coming for him. <laughs> so. so, that'll be a cool one to give him. I hadn't really noticed that anybody really sent him anything recently. So, I wasn't sure if that address was still uh, good. Um, this one's come back from Phoenix, Arizona, also sent out on 11-12. Received back 11-12, got back October. I'm going to drop my page. Here's another custom signed on the back. This is Mr. Dick Woodson. I could not find any photos of him from 1969, but he did play for the Twins. 1969 for a little bit and then retired with them in 74. We had to sign the back side. Still cool though, so that's uh, four points. There we go. Four points for my team. Then coming back from North, Houston, Texas received on 1112. Sent out on October. Is another Team 5060s. It looks like he includes some extras. We got Bob Astromonte before, so now we got his brother Ken. And I think he's uh, close to 90. And both of them are very awesome signers. Got this really nice, cool extra photo. Um, I think he was coaching then. And then this one back in his playing days with Washington. So really cool. Well, thank you, Mr. Astromonte. That is five points. For me so far. Next up, we got Oakland, California. Got back in 11 12. 
sent out in October. A lot of these are going to say 11-12 because I think I didn't get the mail for a couple days. And I just went with the day when we got it. So they didn't necessarily all come on 11-12. Got Kiko Garcia. Very cool. Former Baltimore Orioles shortstop. Very nice. I really like how that photo. Next up we got Oklahoma City, Oklahoma. This one was sent out in August. And we'll see the back on 11-12. And it is another Team 5060, so this is point number six. This is Mr. Eddie Fisher, back in his minor league days. Back in the uh, 50s, point to number six. So, I thought that would be an interesting, maybe not very often seen photo for him to sign. Mr. Eddie Fisher. Then, coming back from Columbus, Ohio, received an 11 12, sent out in October. This is another former Buffalo Bill. We got Mr. Jan White, uh, also former Ohio Buckeye. And as you can see in the uh, horizontal photo, he's a Buckeye. That's his college days. And then there's not too many photos of him. And then we got a 73 tops football card. So that's another Buffalo Bills for uh, my boss. Very cool, Jan White. And this one has come back from San Juan, Puerto Rico. This one should be Juan Pizarro. Received an 11-12, sent out in September. And I did include a $5 donation. He did also sign the index card just as an extra bonus, which is really cool. So Juan Pizarro on a 65 tops. And the index card. I think that was from a C-U-M-C one, I think, or something like that. I don't know, actually I had that card. So really cool. Then we got San Bernardino, California, received 11-12, also sent out in September. Another 65 top signed by Mr. Pete Rickert. Long relief man for the Orioles, Senators, spot starter. Pretty much you come in whenever you needed it. So really cool. Pete Rickert. So that's uh, seven points, right? Then we finally changed days. We got West Palm Beach, Florida coming back on 11 13. Sent out in October. And I'm dropping things. Wonderful. So hopefully you guys had a Merry Christmas. Had a good time with family. I did. There's another point. This is point number eight. Marty Coutina. Another former Washington center. We signed a picture for 61 tops. So point number eight for me. The contest is almost over. Next week it will end. Next Thursday, I believe. Then we got Orlando, Florida, also got back in 11-13. Sent out in October. And five, oh, sweet. This is um, going to be for autographs for a cure. Did not expect this to come back. This is Mr. Jeff Hardy. Really cool wrestler. Oops. There we go. See that one? Blue and silver. So let me know which one you want me to send to autographs for a cure. Let me know which one you think is best. Five by seven, four by six, or both. <laughs> then we got uh, come back from Boston, Massachusetts. Received on eleven fourteen. Back in October. So 
Oh my god, no it says, Caleb, good luck to you and your brother. Sounds like you are on a good track. Stay safe, Dave. And it is Dave Leonard for Team 50s and 60s. So that's nine points. It's really cool. And then he included a little cardboard piece to help protect it, which is very, very nice of him. Photo came back in pristine condition there. So thank you, Mr. Leonard from our Baltimore Oriole. Then we got uh, from Los Angeles, California. This one's kind of thick, so it's got two stamps on it. I uh, received an 1114. This was sent out in July. I think there's one in here in a stack that's like from 2017, so I'm kind of excited to see if that one's signed. Oh, okay, is Mr. I intended him to keep some, but I guess uh, he decided to sign them all. Uh, Mr. Jim Gott, 94 tops, 92 ultra, 95 tops, 91 leaf. 92 Stadium Club, uh, Eddie, I don't know if you have that one yet, let me know if you need it, and 1990 Upper Deck, so I just pretty much went through my collection and grabbed most of my Jim Gott cards, so uh, thank you Mr. Gott for signing those, those were really, really awesome additions to the collection, so very cool, Jim Gott. Then we got Greenville, South Carolina, we went there. Received back 1114 and 1020 was, was sent out. And this one was, I guess, not sealed. Or already opened, or maybe, oh, I opened this one. This was for my Buffalo uh, So I already gave him one, but there was two in here. This is former Buffalo Bill running back. Uh, I think he also played for the Saints, CJ Spiller. And he's currently coaching on the Clemson's football team. So that's where I sent to, it's the Clemson University. Uh, I don't, you can maybe still try. I don't know how much left of the season they have but uh, that came back um, fairly quickly so um, the other one was already signed to Mike so I already gave it to him for his Christmas present so thank you Mr. Spiller it's a really cool return I've never had anything from him before then we got Portland Oregon received back in 1114 it was sent out in 1020 this one feels kind of thick like there's a cardboard or something in here Oh, very cool. This is another one for autographs for a cure. I saw he, he did get something back. He just includes some extras, some extra stuff here. But this is from Chris Novostick, uh, a guitarist for Nirvana. That'd be a cool one for autographs for a cure. really cool and then he included some um, just advertisements and um, cards okay I'm back um, we left off with the Chris novel stick uh, next up is one coming back from Orlando, Florida. I received it back at 1114. I sent that out in October. And it's going to be Mr. Luke Gregerson. Um, I think he's a free agent. Or he might still be signed to the Astros, I'm not sure, but uh, I've always thought he was a pretty cool reliever. Um, kind of through, like, uh, uh, a little bit, uh, almost submarine slash sidearm, but it was, was usually pretty effective. Um, he's pretty good with the Padres, so um, I thought he'd be a really cool guy to send to, and uh, he returned from his home. So, I don't usually write current baseball players for their home, but I uh, found uh, address to try, and... Um, it worked, so thank you, Mr. Gregerson. Then we have our first failure that came back to me. I tried sending to Hall Morris. Um, this address just popped up. There was no um, successes or even attempts on it, so I just thought I'd try. Obviously, it didn't work, so 
Paul Morris is not at that address. He's like a roving scout last I knew from the Angels, so who knows where he is. <laughs> a roving instructor or something like that. So then we got the successes here. We got Baltimore, Maryland. Received on 11-16. Sent out in October. And it's going to be Mr. Scott McGregor. Uh, Left-handed closer for the Baltimore Orioles for a long time. Very, very good closer. Uh, he's got a famous photo of him celebrating after they uh, win the World Series in 1980, 1981. I think it was 80. So really, not, not well, 1982, something like that. <laughs> it was 80 was the Phillies. So, but either way, really cool return. Then we got Santa Ana, California, received back in 1116, and was sent out in July. So it's a little bit older one. Might be a celebrity, I don't know. No, it is a, for Battle of the Decades, this is Mr. Jim Campanis Sr. I know a lot of Team 90s have been getting Jim Campanis Jr., but uh, I can send to Jim Campanis Sr. So that's, uh, I think, 10 points now. I'll have to double check, but I think that's 10. Then we got North Texas, Dallas, Texas, received on 11-16. Sent out October. This one is, is kind of heavy. So can you put some extras? Oh, very nice. This is going to be, um, I'd like to do it for autographs for a cure. Uh, Mr. James Hampton. Um, the photo right here um, was from The Longest Yard, the original, not the one with Adam Sandler. Um, so he was kind of like coaching. And then this one's from a, like a old western Civil War movie. Um, but the actor James Hampton. And then he included a, uh, you can pre-order his book in Barnes & Noble. Uh, what? And give up show business? So, um, this is a hilarious autobiography of James Hampton, who for over 50 years has been one of the most familiar faces in television and film. A wonderful slice of life in Hollywood told through the personal stories of one of its prolific actors. This book will appeal to nostalgia buffs, classic film and television aficionados, fans of celebrity autobiographies, and people who just enjoy good laugh and great storytelling. So it might be a uh, pretty cool to look up. Uh, obviously, yeah, his popular roles with The Longest Yard, The Sling Blade, F Troop, Murder She Wrote, and uh, he also was on The Tonight Show 30 times. I uh, produced Evening Shade, Sister, Sister. I remember watching that. A smart guy. Boston Comet and Grace Under Fire. So, I think this might actually be uh, from F Troop. Actually, that might that might be what that's from. So, really cool return there. But, uh, thank you Mr. Hampton. Next up, this one is a mystery. Where it's coming back from. But it was received 1116. They wrote some stuff on the back. Blessings, do not bend. And that's from October. It looks like they put some extra protection in there. Or there's just extra photos. I don't know. They wrote a note. We will just take a glance note. Because I do tell these people if they don't want me to show stuff on camera. I can do that. Oh, it says, Kayla, what a delightful letter. Thank you, Margaret Carey. She's got a YouTube channel as well. It's called Margaret Carey's. I think. <laughs> That's funny. So, if you guys want to check out her YouTube channel. Oh, shoot. So, I thought this would be a cool one for um, Kim. She includes some extras. She was the um, model for Tinkerbell. Um, she's in her late 80s, early 90s now. But really cool 
and turn there. She sent the five by seven to center. I just sent her one, and then she's kind enough to include um, a couple signed in silver of Tinkerbell, and one more. There she is, uh, more currently. So really cool, Miss Margaret Carey. So thank you for signing that. And then she just says so she's got a YouTube channel. So make sure let's go check it out. So thank you. So yeah, there'll be some for uh, Kim. That was the reason I sent those. Then we got Santa Clarita, California. Um, received that at 1116. I did just block out the address because I told him I wasn't, I tried not to share their addresses on camera. But that's just coming from, back from Lady uh, Eliza Gurr. So this should be a James Bond related TTM return. This one is for, um, I keep dropping these. This one is for autographs work here. She includes some extras. It's really cool. So these are the two that I sent. She signed them to me, which is really neat. So then she wanted me to keep these. And then she sent these three for autographs. Oh, wait. <laughs> I think we got somebody else's because I got two Sarah. And I got two that. Uh oh. So I don't know if, if there's a Sarah that wrote Miss Gurr, I can send that back to you if you like. And then I don't know if maybe these um, are yours too. I may have printed this one. Yeah, that's my writing in the back, so I printed that one too. So, but I did get these, so I don't know. Let me know if those are somebody's. Uh, this one is from a certain batch and this is from a different batch so these are maybe two different people I don't know so but very happy to still be returned from Miss Gurr very cool so that's a cool one for autographs for a cure then we got Los Angeles California this was received on 1117 they wrote do not ban on the front and back and I sent this out in February so we're getting older. Let's come back from Los Angeles. I don't know if I said that. Already. We still got ways to go, guys. So if you need to pause or step away, go ahead and get yourself something to drink. Or... Oh, it's nice. I did not think this would ever come back. This is from The Facts of Life. This is going to be. Miss Julia Pekarski. Um, and she should be her. So I remember watching this, this show. Um, she wrote really nice. Um, Nice to she put my Philippines 413 down there. She said it's okay to share these, so that's really cool. And then um, keep being motivated to reach for the stars with Joshua 1 9 inscription, which um, I know actually a co worker was talking about that uh, Thursday, but let's go ahead and look that up and make sure I get the exact wording of it because I know most of it but Joshua one night as soon as it loads up here it says have not I commanded thee be strong and of good courage be not afraid neither be thou dismayed for the Lord thy God is with thee with her so ever thou goest Joshua is a really cool book um, to read through so Joshua is a really cool character, honestly. Uh, one of the few Israelites when they got out of Egypt that was really faithful, uh, trusting the 
Moses and you know following God while the others were doubting he was you know a big ally so um, really cool story to read through if you're interested uh, you can read through his um, through Exodus all the way through Joshua next up we got Phoenix Arizona and I was sent out or it was sent out in October but received November 17th they would like a copy of this photo so I will make sure to do that we got Mr. Orlando Mercado Signed two photos, former Twins and Mets catcher. I think a couple other teams in there, so I will have to make sure I make him a couple copies there for him. I apologize for the delay. I will say I I saved all my TTMs open up on Christmas, so that's why I'm only I'm sending them back to you now. <laughs> Next up, come back from Boise, Idaho, with a different kind of stamp. And that was received back 1117, sent out in October. Oh, very nice. So I wasn't sure if this, if he was still signing, but uh, we got Mr. Scott Glenn. Really good actor. I was just watching um, Silverado the other day. But, uh, he's a really, really good actor. Really cool, Mr. Scott Glenn. So I think uh, we'll get a couple of those to autographs for a cure. Next up is come back from St. Louis, Missouri. Also received on 1117. This one was a little bit older, sent out in August. It feels a little light, like the paper's taken out. So this might be a baseball baseball return. Indeed, I am correct. Put my letter is in there. No, no. Okay. This is Mr. Ed Mickelson. Signed very small, but he is he's up there. Um, I don't know if you guys can see. There you go, Ed Mickelson. Um, so this is fourteen fifty six. This is point number eleven. So really cool. I think he's about ninety three years old now, or ninety four. Then we got come back from Southern Maine, received on 1119. This was sent out in November, actually. It's a World War II return. Very cool. Oh, very nice. This is, uh, so I kind of met him through uh, the Veterans Breakfast Club, and uh, I emailed him permission if I could write him, and uh, he gave me his address and said it was okay, and uh, so he signed one of my ones I've been sending out lately, um, a cover page from the Life Heroes of World War II magazine. This is Mr. Roland Glenn, and he comes on there frequently, um, very cool guy. It's got a really awesome fish tank in the background too, so uh, very cool. And then he sent a picture, which is very kind of him, to include um, in my binder with him. So that is really cool. Thank you, Mr. Glenn. If you happen to see this, really appreciate it. And then he wrote just a really nice uh, note back. So very cool. So looking forward to doing more shows with them and being able to listen to stories. And every now and then, uh, being able to chime in there. <laughs> so, really cool. So, that's, that's a fun um, Zoom live stream if you guys want to uh, come on that. I've been trying to share those on my page. So, next up, come back from Harrisburg, Pennsylvania, received 1119 and sent out in October. And it's going to be. Uh, former Redskins quarterback, um, also um, coach um, for Mc 
Mechanicsburg. Um, this is Mr. Chris Hackle. So I got him as a coach. And then I got him in his NFL uniform. So very cool. Would you like that return? Mr. Chris Hackle. He also did play for a few other teams. Um, practice squad or just on the bench. But hey, he made it there. Then we got Phoenix, Arizona. This was received on 1120. I sent this out in June. So this is fairly old return. This is like a card, I'm guessing, for the uh, Battle of Decades. Oh, no, it's not. Okay, this is when I sent out a whole bunch of 80s cards. Almost forgot. This is Mr. Bill Scherer. Um, 87 tops and 86 Don Russ. We're Detroit Tiger, left handed pitcher, I believe. Yep, left handed pitcher. I don't think I've gotten him before. I think I tried and got a return to sender. Then we got coming back from Fresno, California. Received 1121. And I sent those out in October. I sent him the wrong photo. <laughs> I got I found this photo with I thought it was Eddie Zosky and Ryan Braun, but I guess that's not he put not me, so but uh, this one he did sign for Kim. I have gotten Eddie Zosky before, so that's fine. Besides that, he's with the Yankees. I only put to Kim and Kim, but I'll still give that to Kim. So very cool. Eddie Zosky. I do apologize that I sent the wrong photo. I th thought I had the right one. Um, this one was open when I got it. I, I guess I put a note on that. Um, I'm back from Oakland, California. Received 1121. And it was sent out. Yeah, it was just like this when I got it. And sent out in February. So hopefully everything that was supposed to be in here is in here. It is a Olympic swimmer. Mr. Nathan Adrian. I thought I sent three, so there might be a photo missing, not actually. But I may have just sent two. Very cool. Nathan Adrian, Olymp USA Olympic swimmer. She's going to like that one. And this uh, was coming back from North Texas, Dallas, Texas. I got that back in 1123. And I sent that out in August. I sent the swimmer one to um, the facility, but it was probably closed down. He couldn't get to his mail, I'm assuming. Oh, very cool. This is for Team 5060s. This is a picture of all the Mantle kids. And specifically, I had Mr. David Mantle sign with the Son of the Mick inscription. I thought this would be a really cool picture of his dad. Um, Chase did say that that he thinks that this should count um, for uh, our contest. So if you, for Team 90s as well, if they found stuff like with their uh, fathers and sons or whatever, family related ones, those will count as well. So really cool. I got Roger Maris's son, Randy, and I got David Mantle. Then we got San Diego, California, received on 1123. And this was sent out in December of last year and it looks all taped up like it's been opened <laughs> so I'm a little worried that there's not something in here there's cards I don't think I would have sent this so I don't know if maybe maybe this got to him like this honestly who knows Mr. Darren Carrington I don't remember sending I must have with John 317 inscription. Oh, this is a track card. So let's actually we got the website open. Let's look up John 317. So John 316 is a super popular one, but John 317 might be overlooked. It says, For God sent not his son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world through him might be saved. So kind of a nice follow-up to John 316. So really cool, Mr. Darren Carrington, former Charger. I 
don't remember what I would have sent him. Otherwise, so. Next up, we got Metroplex, Michigan. This was received on 11-25. And I sent this out in October. We're getting closer to the end because the um, December returns start getting more sparse. <laughs> uh, we got Mr. Jerry Glanville. Signed two photos. Um, this one got a little bit smudged there on the back. Took some ink transfer from somewhere else. But that's okay. Glanville's a really cool guy, always signing. So thank you, Mr. Glanville. Um, really cool of you to do that. And keep up with your fans. Because I know he gets a lot, a lot of fan mail. Then we got Charlotte, North Carolina. I received that on 1128. They were skipping around everywhere. Um, we, got, uh, we sent that out in October. This one's... Oh, it is sealed. This just got tape on it. Is going to be a NASCAR driver, Mr. Frank Kimmel. Um, I think I saw the long shot signatures get him back, so I thought that'd be cool to send out. So uh, one of these is going to be going to Bruce. So very cool, Frank Kimmel. So we got Charleston, West Virginia. This one's really thick. Got it back 11:28, and I sent this out in uh, uh, November. So I don't know what this could be. Oh, okay. Um, Kim wanted me to uh, send a request for her to uh, Jeremy Ambler. He, uh, he's been in uh, We Are Marshall, so I don't know if um, Michael Myers may have met him, but he's better known for playing like a walker in The Walking Dead so I printed some photos and she had me write him and tell him um, that she'd already told him that I was going to be sending so we got Jeremy Ambler that's uh, got to make sure we get a picture of him then we got a picture this is I think the highway scene I'm just put in the nice descriptions for her and uh, this one was another one I sent And of course, I had to send a cover of um, We Are Marshall. And then he signed this one. This is one that's ones that he usually gives out. Kind of scary, but <laughs> um, still cool. Um, and then this is yeah, season two, episode one, Highway Walk. And then that one he made another copy for me. So very cool return from Mr. Ambler. Um, very kind of him to do that. So Kim, um, those will be. I don't know if you want to message him back and say, hey, I saw that you returned him uh, to Caleb a while ago. You can tell him that I was saving him, so that's why it's such a late delay, but you can thank him for that if you'd like. But they'll be making your way to you, Kim, here uh, when I get a chance. So, got North Houston, Texas, received on 1130. And this was sent out in July, so we got another older return. Got a little water damage on it. Well, hopefully they didn't affect the photos. I see two photos, so signed to me and to Kim. This is Mr. Bubba McDowell. Um, I thought the one where they're sitting there carrying him off was pretty funny, <laughs> but uh, but to Kim and to Caleb, best wishes, God bless, Bubba McDowell. So really cool, pretty cool return there. Really like that that photo. It's glad I found it. Then this was come back from South Suburban Illinois. Received on 11:30 October. Uh, this one's all taped up. Oh, it was actually this one was open too, I think, or maybe I did. Okay, I opened this one because I wanted to see if it's signed. This one's really weird. There was no note. Uh, it's not signed. There's not even. There's no, I have no idea if this gentleman is still alive, or if he charges, or doesn't sign, or what. But I uh, sent to Willie Ross, he was a former Buffalo Bill, in 1964, and he played for Nebraska, he's known as the Twister. And I don't know if I sent to the wrong Willie Ross, or 
what, but it came back just like that. So I'm like, okay, that doesn't help me whatsoever. So yeah, that was another failure. Very strange one. So let's go move to some good news. We skipped to December now. Santa Clarita, to California has come back on 12-1. I said this out in October. Looks like she's kept a couple photos, which is fine. This is Miss Chantel Van Satin. She looks like um, she does not have a mole or anything there in the middle of her brow, but I think a little bit of ink got on there. So I'll have to see if I can remove that. But uh, actress Chantel Van Satin. And then next one is a postcard. I have no idea if this is TTM related, but I got it. I have no idea where it's from. But I just got this, and I was like, what in the world is this? And it's from Giants in the Trees, Sasquatch Friendly Woodmix. <laughs> it's Giants in the Trees YouTube channel. So I don't know if this is some uh, somebody I sent to, they're just sending an advertisement, or what. But <laughs> I got that, so I don't, I don't know. I'll have to, I guess, look up the YouTube channel and figure out, maybe it'll... Uh, jog my memory. We got South New Jersey uh, received on 12 4, my parents' anniversary, and I sent this out in January. So, so far, our oldest is 12 uh, December in 2019. I know there's still a 2017 in here somewhere. Well, it's going to be a hockey return. Come back from Brad Marsh. There we go. I uh, really like that one. That's pretty cool. <laughs> nice uh, behind the glass shot. Some Brad Marsh hockey. Uh, next up, this is coming back from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Here's the one from 2017. This was received in 2012-8, and like I said, I sent that out in April 2017. So, I'm not sure. I'm guessing it's a baseball. Oh, it's got a note, but they won't. Oh, it's my note. Oh. oh. <laughs> this is from. Oh, why my, my letter is so short? This is. Uh, my name is Caleb. I'm 20 years old. Dang, that's so long ago. <laughs> I'm almost 25 now. Um. I think this is for Dustin's Junk Wax Challenge? Maybe? Is that in 2017? <clears throat> I don't know, but I think I included a $5 donation. Mr. Lewis Lips. I don't know why else I would have sent a 1990 scorecard. So, well. Yeah, <laughs> that was pretty cool I see in my letter introducing myself and saying I'm 20 years old and now I'm uh, 24 and a half. <laughs> so yeah, now I got Baton Rouge, Louisiana, received on 12-9. Um, this one I guess I forgot to put a date on the back. Let's see who this is. This oh sweet. I am like 0 for 3 on this guy, so finally I got him. Um, I got on a photo. I don't think he normally signs photos, or maybe he does. Uh, Ron Guidry, he's just one per, I believe. But I've tried numerous times through different parts of the year. I've just never been able to get Mr. Guidry. I uh, always thought he's a really good pitcher. I'll always make sure to put him in my baseball stars binders and collect his cards. And yeah, <laughs> so that's really cool to finally. Finally, get Mr. Gidry. I think I've tried three or four times. I've um, got Sacramento, California. Received back on 12 12. This was sent out in September. Uh, close to being done, guys. 
This is for Team 5060s. He played briefly for the Chicago Cubs in 1969. This is Mr. Bill Plummer. But primarily he played more in the 70s with like the Reds and a couple other teams. But this photo is actually from 1969. So that one counts. That's point number 12. 12 or 13? I think it's 12. Then we got Tacoma, Washington. Received in 12-12. Also sent out in February. It's got my old um, labels on them. It is Mr. Scott Hattieberg. Yeah, I forgot I wrote him. Um, there's a actually him from the Oakland A's. And I got him to sign a shot of um, shoot, what's his name? <laughs> Chris Pratt playing him in Moneyball. And then here's one. That's not from the movie. That's actually Scott Hattieberg celebrating after that awesome home run that extended him to like 18 wins in a row or something like that. It's a really cool Scott Hattieberg return. It's been immortalized by that movie. I love watching that movie every now and then. It's just really cool. Then we got this should be Craig Grubeck. I did not think this was coming back. This Atlanta Metro sent out or received 1212. Sent that out in May. It's got two stamps on it because I sent him a whole bunch of cards. Hoping he would keep some because I had a whole bunch of it. But yeah, well, it's, he had like a baseball academy or something. So he just signed one or two. That's fine. I mean, that's fair. I did send a whole bunch. Oh, he signed three. Yeah. Once he signed the pack. Yeah. So he signed three of six. So he didn't sign these. Which is fine. We got, but we got some of the cool ones. 95 Don Russ, 93 Upper Deck, and 1990 Upper Deck. So Craig Rebeck never got him before, never tried sending. But he, in the past, he was a pretty good signer, and then just kind of had different addresses and good release and tried. We got another one from Southern Maine. Uh, received 1214, and this was sent out in November. This might be another World War II. Indeed it is. This is Mr. Ernest Bryan. I don't think this is from... Um, this is one that I saw through Star Tiger. Um, he was in the Battle of the Bulge, the Korean War. And he also served in uh, Franklin Delano Roosevelt's New Deal CCC. And uh, he just says, Hi Caleb, the only Caleb I'm familiar with was Caleb Street, where I lived in Portland, Maine, for the first 24 years of my life. Hope you and your brother are lucky enough to get your home, which we are under contract, so that'll be coming up this summer, so we're excited. Uh, I'm sorry that I have no pictures for you. Oh, well, that's okay. Um, I'm just happy just to have a signature. Um, but he is, I think he's 100 years old. Mr. Ernest Bryan here. But he signed the back of the Life Heroes of Heroes of World War II. So, really cool return right there. So, thank you, Mr. Ernest Bryan. And thank you so much for your service. Really appreciate uh, you taking the time to sign. Then we got more of Houston, Texas. I got this back in 1214. Send it out in October. Oh, very cool. This is Mr. Mickey Gilly. Country music legend. Awesome signer. In his mid-80s now. Still looks pretty good. He was on an American Pickers episode too, which was pretty fun to watch. Mickey Gilly. I think that's uh, autographs for a cure. So that's a, that'll be a cool one to send to Michael. And then we got a Santa Claus stamp. This should be for the Hit the Deck contest. I have about five or six of them. Got Santa Ana, California. I received on 1214. And again, I sent in December. I sent like on literally 12 ones. So. Let me get my notes out. I still have it. reasons why I, I sent them that particular card. Okay. So 
this is this is Ace Mask. Wow, I did not think this address should work. <laughs> um, so I sent him an Ace of Diamonds because of his name, Ace. Um, I just there was no particular reason for the diamonds, but uh, I didn't. I had not seen very many returns from him, so I was not expecting that address to work. I was just kind of shot shot in the dark. So that's Ace Mask. I'm actually going to leave that out report those. Then we got Honolulu, Hawaii. Received on 1214. Got uh, sent out also 1220. What did I do with my oh. Wait, where is my letter opener? I need that. This one is also so E B. This is this should be Earl Bowen. And I sent him the nine of. Wait, is that a nine or a six? It's a nine. Did I sent him the wrong one. There's a reason why, and I did not write it down. <laughs> Either way, I will look that up. There was a reason why I sent him the nine. Um, it was a movie or show that he was in. So I will have to double check that one. And then it looks like he wrote on my letter. I don't know why I did not write down my reason. He put ditto. <laughs> oh, does it say Merry Christmas? Really cool. So Earl Bowen. So we'll have to double check that one. I know there's a reason why. Uh, we got another return of Sunder come back from Jerry Kenny. That's supposed to be for Battle of the Decades. But unable to forward. So weird. We got Santa Carita, California. I got this back in twelve fifteen. So this house also in December. This one I think is a hit the deck. Sure is. It's Paige Heard. So all my love XOXO. Paige Heard. I sent her the five of spades. Because she was in uh, Hawaii Five O. So and I asked Troy, is that a good one to send? He's like, yeah, I'd count that. So that's a uh, three points. It says hi, Caleb. Thank you for reaching out. I hope this letter and card find you well. I checked out your YouTube page and think it's dope. Uh, I hope you win again this year and wanted to send you well wishes and positive energy on your new home with your brother. I also uh, love Lowe's. Such a cool job. Uh, happy holidays and may God bless you and your family in your new home. All my love, Paige Heard. P.S. If you have a Twitter, please let me know when you get this. I don't have a Twitter, but I do have um, Instagram, Facebook, all that stuff. So, um, I don't know, maybe I should make a Twitter, I guess. Um, it's really cool. So thank you, Miss Heard, for that. It's really cool. So that's three points. So let's at least try and contact her and tell her I got it. Um, Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania received this 1217. I sent it out in November. Oh, sweet. It is another World War II. This is, this should be a gentleman from, I think. This is a gentleman from the Veterans Breakfast Club. He actually came on and spoke about his experience, which was really, really neat. Uh, he was sharp as a tack and a very funny guy. This is Mr. Bob Buckler. Um, he was a, in the U.S. Air Force, he was a tail gunner on a B-17. And that's a really, that's the first um, one that I shared, I think, with you guys on my page. And you can see his experience. So that was really cool. Mr. Bob Buckler. So thank you, Mr. Buckler, for your service. Thank you for signing for me. Next up, uh, we're almost done here. We got North Texas, Dallas, Texas, twelve seventeen. I uh, got that back in October, or sent out in October. My bad. And this is going to be Mr. Byron Lichtenberg. 
An astronaut I have not gotten yet. Um, really cool. I think Sydney Gutierrez is also in that group. So I could have almost sent um, Sydney Gutierrez that photo as well. So very cool. We got two astronauts. This should be another one from Hit the Deck. We got DB Daniels, New Jersey. Um, sent out 1220. And this is going to be Ken Land, who I sent the six of spades because he was in TV show um, or movie, movie or TV show, one of the two, six feet under, and also the spades. I uh, figured, you know, digging <laughs> six feet under. So you know, I thought that'd be a cool one to get. So Ken Land, so that's four points so far, hopefully, as long as nobody else has got him. Um, got back from Kansas City. Uh, got it back to 119 out in October. We're nearly done. We have about five or six more left. This is going to be, I think, Tim Grunhard. Looks like he signed just one. So we'll sign this four by six. And I don't know, maybe this one wasn't him. Or he only signs one at a time. I'm not sure. But either way, full return. Tim Grunhard. Former Chiefs offensive lineman. Then we got Los Angeles, California. Received on 12 21. Um, sent out in December. I think this is a hit the deck, but it's super thick, so I don't know if they include some stuff. Oh, yeah. This gentleman's always nice when you send to him. This is M. Emmett Walsh. We signed the Jack of Hearts. He was in a movie literally called Jack of Hearts in 2000, so that's a perfect card to send. Um, did he write anything on my letter? He did. He says, Dear Caleb, many thanks for the semi-interest in my work. <laughs> that's funny. Um, he's always a really cool actor. And then uh, he's got a whole whole uh, paper on all the roles he's been in. And then include a couple extras. The Wild Wild West and some others. You got Planet of the Apes, Blade Runner, Blood Simple, Missing Action, The Our Life of Timothy Green, and Wild Wild West. So really cool. Thank you Mr. Walsh. That is four points. Then we got Santa Clarita, California. Uh, got back 1221. Send this out also in December. And this is Miss Rita Lee. Or Ruta Lee. She was in Seven Brides for Seven Brothers. And I was just thinking, I sent the Seven Hearts because uh, the Seven, obviously, for Seven Brides for Seven Brothers. And then the Hearts because it's kind of a love romantic story. Um, very cool movie. I've seen it many times with my mom. So I thought that would be a perfect one to send. And then she sent a couple extras. And her brother's name is Caleb, too. So very interesting. Uh, she's got a book coming up. Consider. Uh, I won't. <laughs> well, I won't say that out loud, but uh, you could read that there if you want. Uh, uh, just some of her life stories. So, interesting. Uh, so that's point number five. Then we got Boston, Massachusetts. I did not write when I came back, but I set this out in August of 2019. This is a recent one. This is the last few days that I got it back. It is Mr. Steve Casper. That's the most Casper the Ghost. Um, for some hockey. So another hockey return. Sign one to me and to Kim, former Boston Bruin. So really cool, Steve Casper. And then we got an unfortunate return to sender from Pete Beatherd. Um, sometimes you get return to sender some from this address. Sometimes you get successes. So I don't know what's going on. So maybe he has two addresses. <laughs> but that one did not come back. And the last one, this one should be a hit the deck. This should be number six. 
North Texas, Dallas, Texas in 1220. This is the last one for the recap, guys. We made it. I don't know if you watched the whole thing, but I appreciate it if you did. So I sent a Joker to Miss Ruth Buzzy. Um, she's obviously a comedian. Um, uh, Hee Haw was a very popular one that she was on. So I thought that would be a really cool one to send to her. And then she included an extra card, which is very cool. It looks like a custom card of hers. Aunt Miner Minerva. <laughs> so really cool. Ruth Buzzy, really funny lady. So that is it, guys. Six points right there for the Hit the Deck contest. Love to see where everybody else is at. So thank you so much for watching. I know this is a super long video. I <laughs> would appreciate if you watched the end. And uh, I'll try to get back to more regular uh, TTM videos now that uh, we saved them for Christmas and we did it. And I was able to last all that long. Um, it was killing me towards the end there, but uh, it's fun. So maybe we'll do it again next year. So thank you guys again. Uh, for watching and I'll see you all later. Have a Merry Christmas. Bye.